Welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, President Akufuaru has called on the international community to send a stronger message and deterrence actions against school makers in Africa, stating that schools were not the solutions to Africa's problems. The president called for adequate preventive measures to stop them, and when they occurred, they must be met with collective and effective deterrence and board actions. President Akufuaru made the call when he delivered a keynote address at a side event organized by the United Nations Development Program on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference in Munich, Germany last Friday. Leadership of the National Democratic Congress has directed the minority caucus in Parliament not to approve any of the new ministerial nominees and further push for a reduction in the size of government. A statement signed and issued by the General Secretary of the NDC, Fifi Fiavikwati, said the party had long expressed concern over the large size of the current government and shared the views of most Ghanaians, including civil society organizations, that it must be reduced, bearing in mind the current economic crisis the country has been plunged into by the government. Vice President Dr. Mahamudu Bamiya has assured Ghanaians and sympathizers of late Christian Achu to expect a befitting burial of the former Black Stars forward. The mortal remains of Achu touched down in Accra on Sunday evening at the Kotoka International Airport after he was confirmed dead a day earlier. The player could not survive after an earthquake struck in Turkey some two weeks ago, leaving him under the rubble. Speaking at the airport, Dr. Bamiya sent condolences to the family once more, as well as other bereaved parties, while showing of government's full involvement in the burial. Head of the Public Relations Unit at the Ministry of Education, Larry George Botry, has cautioned the public not to fall prey to unscrupulous persons to pass with any money in an attempt to secure placements of the awards into senior high schools and technical vocational education and training institutions. He said following the release of placements for candidates of the 2022 Basic Education Certificates Examinations under the Computerized School Selections and Placement System, parents should be wary of people who would ask them to pay money to influence the placement of their children in schools of their choices. Ghana has taken delivery of the second consignment of fuel under the gold for oil policy. The 40,000 metric tons of oil arrived at the Tema port on Sunday, February 19, 2023. This brings the total fuel received under the policy to 80,000 tons. Managing Director of Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Limited, Edwin Provincial, last week revealed that Ghana will take delivery of four separate gasoline cargoes by the end of February. The shipments will total 155,000 tons of fuel. In addition, to the first consignment of 40,000 tons of oil under the deal. The One District One Factory Initiative of the Akufado Administration is industrializing Ghana. Minister Designate for Trade and Industry, Kobna Tahir Hammond, has said, answering questions at the Appointment Committee of Parliament on Monday, February 20, during his vetting, he indicated that the 100 factories are currently operating under the initiative with 150 others at various stages of completion. President Nane Akufado has commissioned several of the factories under the initiative. On the global front, the U.S. has said it believes China may be about to provide lethal aid to help Russia in the war in Ukraine, prompting a direct warning against doing so from the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, to China's top diplomat. Blinken made the warning to the Chinese State Councillor Wang Ji on Saturday evening at a meeting on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference, during which he also rebuked China over the use of an alleged spy balloon over U.S. soil. Blinken told U.S. networks that the U.S. had information China was considering whether to give Russia assistance, possibly including guns and weapons for the Ukraine war. The African Union insisted Sunday it had a zero-tolerance policy toward unconstitutional change as it maintained its suspension of four military ruled countries, the Sahel states of Burkina Faso, Guinea and Mali, as well as Sudan, were sanctioned by the Pan-African body after coups in recent years, but the AU said it was ready to help them return to democratic rule. The Assembly reaffirmed zero-tolerance against unconstitutional change of government, said the AU's Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security, Banklu Adoye, in a news conference on the final day of the weekend AU summit in Addis Ababa.
Ghanaian midfielder Mohamed Kudus paid homage to the late Christian Achu after he scored his first ever free kick in Ayas 4 0 victory when they hosted Sparta Rotterdam in the FDVC on Sunday. Rise after he scored, Kudus revealed an imprint of RIP Achu on his inner shirt while ran to the corner and went on his knees to pay tribute to Achu. The former Black Stars winger was confirmed dead on Saturday after being discovered under the rubble 12 days after the earthquake. Ghana's Black Queens beat Benin 3 0 in a friendly match in Nora Hoptel's first game in charge of the team. Goals from Princess Ousu, Prinsela, Adubia, and Evelyn Bedu gave the women's senior national team the win in Kutonu on Sunday afternoon. Hoptel, who took over from Mercy Tego approximately a month ago, has been taxed with bringing the side back to glory days after they lost out on a spot in the Women's World Cup last year after failing to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations in Morocco. The Black Queens will now prepare for their next friendly game against Togo on Saturday, February 25. The friendly games will serve as part of preparations for the 2023 Wafu B Cup of Nations and qualifiers for the Africa Women's Cup of Nations in 2024. Kinetic the following the official announcement of the death of Ghanaian footballer Christian Achu, a lot of people, including celebrities, have been paying tribute to him. The footballer was among thousands who lost their lives after an earthquake in Turkey and Syria happened on February 7th. For the past two weeks, a lot of people had been waiting for positive news about Achu's exception from the disaster until the confirmation of his death. However, some Ghanaian celebrities have taken to social media to mourn Ghana's lost treasure, the likes of Shatawale, Sarkodie, Jocelyn Duma, Kwesi Atha, Stephen Apia, Asamwajan, Michael Asian, Kudus, amongst others. Actor Idris Elba says he's going to stick with being the tormented detective John Luther, not James Bond. Speaking on Tuesday to the World Government Summit in Dubai, Elba brought up the persistent discussions about him taking over an Ian Flem's famed British spy. Those had grown louder after Daniel Craig's demise as Bond in the 25th film in the franchise No Time to Die. Asked about his upcoming film based on the British series Luther, Elba clearly took himself out of the plane 007. He added that he is not going to take on the character of James Bond, but rather play a John Luther role in his movies. That'll be it for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.